Okay, so this is my complete beginner's guide to Roblox Combat Warriors, and this is like everything in the game right now. They might add something, like add, add stuff like who knows when. It's nearly Halloween. Well, it is Halloween in the, um, the day I'm recording, so um, I don't know if they're doing an update today or not. But yeah, this is everything in the game right now, and well, all the important stuff, let's say. So uh, this is a complete be beginner's guide, as I said. So we're literally doing the basics like the whole menu and everything so yeah okay so first we have the menu as I said the most important things are probably like these uh, things right here so first we have let's go over the loadout because if you press loadout these are the weapons so there's three like classes I should say so there's heavy light and range so range is like um, bows like um, basically they're long long range weapons and I don't know why this is here, this is not even a weapon. It's from, uh, it's in, you can get them from, uh, what's it called? Like, what is it called? I don't even know what the name, airdrops, airdrops, there you go. Right, um, so there's heavy bow, like, there's only three right now, but they they might add more. But here are the two classes that are, like, probably the most important. So first of all, I think heavy is better, and I'll explain right, right now. Um, so heavy weapons do more damage but have a slower like cooldown um but light do less damage and have a faster cooldown and as i said i i think heavy weapons are the best to go with if you're starters bow staff used to be the best weapon like one of the best weapons in the game and it's free but it got a massive nerf i don't know how long ago that was so now but uh, you should still probably start off with bow staff instead of this because uh um or um, baton you should probably go with <laughs> uh, baton more than fist but i i i think fist is just in here in case you want to not have a weapon for some reason i don't know but yeah and so i in my opinion the starter the best starter weapons are bow staff still it still is four shot now it used to be a free shot but it still has one of the um uh, quickest uh, cooldowns for heavy in the game so probably the best starter weapon right now is either fire axe or spear yeah probably it's like these are like starter weapons kinda from here like I would say start mid weapons are like barchi bar bardchi <laughs> is that how you say it? I don't even know how you say it. But yeah, once you get hit, you should definitely use this weapon. This used to be one of my main weapons before I knocked the higher weapons down here. Um, but yeah, so you should definitely work your way with both staff until you get fire axe and then spear. Um, I they both everything they both got a buff too, which is really cool. And bow staff got a, a nerf, so uh, yeah, <laughs> rip. Um, how good bow stuff was I guess so ne uh, that's like start weapons for that um, I don't really need to get o into that because this is the beginner's guide and um, yeah so on to light so probably the best starter weapons to use is sickle it literally has one of the fastest slash cooldowns in the game and it also has quite a good amount of damage for having the fastest cooldown in the one of the fastest cooldowns of the game but um yeah probably it's either the sickle or the uh where is it yeah this one this has a really good damage for starter um and also is pretty fast so compared to this one look it's faster this one's faster it's, it's faster than all of these and it's has a good damage if you know what I mean for a light weapon that is so yeah um these are like again these is where you it's like kind of mid tier weapons where wait let me see uh oh wait yeah this is where you kind of get into mid tier weapons so like dual hatchets kind of but yeah that's probably the best weapon to start off with if you want to go with light in my opinion heavy is better but if you want to go in light probably go sickle to be honest it's just like the best option for beginners and i'll show you i'll show you when we get into the game why light's better and everything i mean heavy's better so <laughs> um but yeah that's basically all uh, the best beginner weapons in my opinion and then we have utilities so we have three slots so there's offense and support offense basically m gives you like a like say like it's a grenade or a c4 or something like that 
as you can see, frag grenade and C4, and support is stuff that like heal you. Um, so if you go into sp support, smoke grenade, you won't think you'd think that like makes you um, not see or something. I don't know, but it's actually used to put out fire. Yeah, and um, that's why it's in support. And bandages, that's pr pretty obvious. It heals 35 HP. It'd be really cool if they added like a a med kit. And it heals like 100 HP, but it takes a long time. That'd be kind of cool. Gas can is kind of useless. Um, don't know worry about that. Ghost potion makes you invisible. And I've just noticed, like, literally a, a one week ago, that it's actually kind of good for like third party fights. It's really good. So, um, my loadout right now is ghost potion, smoke grenade, and kunai. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot to say uh, these. So the C4, which you can stick to players, and also it's like a bomb but sticks, and it's actually faster. Um, kunai, it's like a a bow, or like um, um, yeah, it's like a bow, um, but it does less damage, but it's like really quick, and it's really good for finishing off an enemy, and it does a lot of damage actually to the head. So yeah, that's really good. Mol Molotov I don't use, but it's also pretty decent for like um, getting like small amounts of damage. But the thing about Molotov, it's easily countered by um, smoke grenade. So yeah, I don't know if you should use that frag grenade. That's just a worse ver worse version than a C4. So use C4 instead of frag grenade. Bear trap is yeah, I don't like it. But um. Yeah. So m the my main uh, utilities are. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, where's my smoke grenade gone? Oh wait, ghost potion I'm in. Um, so ghost, ghost potion for fire parting fights as I could say, or like getting away from fights or whatever. You can, um, this is just my personal choice. I think these are the best options, but I used to main bandages in this slot, but now I'm kind of like a ghost potion. But it doesn't matter which one you pick, it, it really doesn't matter, they're both really good. And smoke grenade is for pushing out of fire, um, fires, and you can do it instantly too, it's really good, so you don't take damage. And kunai is for like finishing off enemies, and it's also, because you have to bandage, you can only bandage by standing still, you can actually make people not ban not bandage or maybe if they're low and trying to bandage you can hit them while they're like trying to bandage it's pretty cool but yeah that's basically it for the loadout oh one more thing you can also hit customize so say this is oh this is the best weapon in the game to, in my opinion so the dragon slayer is the best heavy weapon and then the chainsaw is the best uh, light weapon. So, in my opinion, heavy weapon is the um, dragon slayer is the best weapon in the whole entire game, just because heavy is better than light, and that's the best weapon in heavy. So it must be, you know what I mean? But um, that's just my personal choice. It actually is a two shot, so uh, it, it should be the, one of the best weapons in the game. I'll be surprised if it isn't. Um, and also. So what I was saying about customize, you can also customize your weapons. So there's skins and enchants. So what I'm about to move on is going to show you. So you you might be asking, um, how do you get skins? Well, that's how the when the store comes in. So let me just show you um, what you can like do. You can customize. Look at all these skins. They're like there's like so many. It's really cool. And also there's enchants. So these basically go on your like weapon and hover around it basically no matter what. it's kind of hard to explain but I'll show you in game to what it is and so next is store so if we press back or just go here I'm just gonna press back so I can show you so next is store see this one right here and there's so you can see there's item shop so these are the the things in the store right now they change every single day because it's look daily reset and you can see how many hours it takes or minutes or whatever <laughs> when you get on until it resets and here we have cases so this is how you get uh, it's basically luck what you get in these so there's kill effect cases uh, enchant cases oh yeah there's kill effects too I didn't show them on the weapon it's basically when you kill something something happens it's really it's quite cool um, so kill effects are the most expensive yeah and there's only a few kill effects so you can see what how many kill effects there are and then look, these are how many a chance, and then these are how many skins. So the most, the skins are the have the most, and um, yeah. So these are all the skins in the game. Basically, this is where you want to. It's only luck in this. There's no like definite one. But in the item shop, it's luck. But you don't know what you're gonna get in the store. 
uh, for that day, if you know what I mean. And then credits, you can just buy credits, which I don't recommend, because, yeah, <laughs> I don't recommend any of uh, getting A4 credits. You should spend them on getting Vanguard or, like, uh, gold and, yeah, stuff, stuff like that, basically. Or, and um, yeah, if you want to get more, get unlimited daily requests. It's really cheap, and if you're really, like, um, fast at, um, doing daily quests and stuff, you get this, and then uh, you can get unlimited, so you can just keep getting daily requests. Uh, I mean, um, daily quests, yeah. And then this is, uh, donations or something, if you want to donate, but, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and basically, that's it for store, and then, um, I'll show you the controls, so I don't need to press that. So there's also, this is customised, so this is where you get your, put on your kill effects, if you see it here. And then I, you also, if you get the game pass, as I showed, the vanguard or gold, you get a, a chat, uh, a ca I mean a character, aura, so it's above your name, basically. And then you can also get a chat tag, which you can actually get in this, in the spin, this, like, wheel spin thing. And you can also get, uh, character auras in the wheel spin thing, I think. Oh, wait, no, I mean head tags. Oh, wait, character... Oh wait, no, this is character aura, so instead of like enchants, it's it's on your weapon, it's actually on your body, that's what I meant, and then head tags are the thing above your head, so you can get these in the spin wheel thing that I'm about to show you. And yeah, that's basically it. Once armor, armor did come in the game, but I didn't get it, because it hasn't come back since. And I think they might be adding load soon, like more armor than one, so that's really going to be cool actually. But yeah. Okay, so about daily spins. So here's probably the newest feature to uh, Combat Rise. Well, the newest feature in the menu, which is actually uh, really good if you have a lot of Robux. So basically, how it works is you get a daily spin every single day, and you can also pay 49 Robux to get a spin. So um, basically, the most uh, OP like ones are the red ones obviously and then it just goes down so it's green, blue, purple, uh, gold, red. Yeah so well, what was it called? Yeah exotic and the legendary epic and common right yeah it's like Fortnite if you've ever <laughs> yeah um, and if you see pity here uh, I'll just read it out so once a pity counter reaches its max maximum you'll be guaranteed um, to receive an item of that rarity on your next spin. Example, if your legendary pit pity counter is 100 out of 100, you will be guaranteed to receive a legendary on your next spin. So yeah, that's pretty good, but it takes a lot of spins. And also, I think you need to be a certain level to spin, but it's only, yeah, level 10. But yeah, that's basically uh, that. And so this is premium AFK boards. If you have premium, then you can, like... Uh, claim rewards and stuff for premium and then the server list if you want to get into a beginner server I would recommend this uh, if you're a beginner obviously so join one of these servers you're bigger I th a beginner you have to um, if you're past level 15 you can't join one of these um, but standard you can it doesn't matter what you can join in the VC only if you have like yeah so I would recommend going in here and um but if you're like still pretty newish but you're like over 15 then i guess you have to go in standard but definitely go in here until you reach level 16 so, th so that's basically it that's everything important in the menu now we're going to go over to the game so if you press space or click play you will be be in the game so the most populated map or popular map is crossroads so this is crossroads right now this is probably the map that you'll be playing most of your time on so let me get into the controls so it's one two three to like do all your uh get all your weapons and utilities out so it's what it's one to get out your like weapon let's say so the it's wsd to move around if you've ever played a game before then you'll know that and then jump to space and this is and it's sprint to run that's probably you'll probably know that too if you've ever played the game so now on to like the the binds that are like in this game so first we have the a crouch so if you hold c it hides your name tag and you can move around like this but 
you only kind of you, you don't really use this only if you're like hiding from someone that has a really good weapon like the dragon slayer that I have right now or something so they can't see your name because I think you can see name tags through the wall if it's thin enough I'm not quite sure I, I, I don't know on that though but um yeah so these are um there's also if you sprint and press E then you'll do like a, a dash like a roll and um this is really good probably the one of the main uh, things in the game so if you jump and do it you can do like a, a jump roll and if you press A you can do a side roll and then the other way if you uh, do it left you can do like a, a, le a left roll and then a backwards roll here and then it's also really good for like comboing if you uh, and I'll show you why uh, so the next one oh you can also only do it while you're sprinting so you see I'm spamming E right now you can't do it and you can't and you can but you can do it actually do it while you're walking but um but yeah you can't can't do it while you're just standing still um so yeah on to the next one which is slide you can only do this one while you're um running so basically it's like crouch but um if you run and hold C then you'll go into a slide and um again it's really really good for uh, movement so if you jump and slide then you'll go really far and you can also predict players to swing so if you say if I swing um, say if you're like jumping at an enemy like this and they're like ready to swing at you you can also go like this and go backwards and predict their swing and then go in because they if they have a heavy weapon they, they won't swing they won't be able to swing yet so that's basically it and you, this is what I mean by comboing so you can also like do that and like dash and roll at the same time uh, yeah um, if I'm bad kind of bad at explaining stuff um uh, I don't know but yeah basically dash and slide is like the best way to get around but um, there's also stamina so if you if you run stamina dash stamina slide stamina like that's all stamina but I don't think yeah jumping doesn't cost stamina um, but yeah that's basically it there's one more thing that you need to know which is uh, parry so it's usually like pinkish purple but I ha do you have a there's a parry color in game pass that allows you to color like have a different color of your parry so I'd change it to black because black's one of my favorite colors if it does count as a color different color if it's not if it doesn't count as a color my favorite color is red so yeah um, so if you press it pr if you press F like that it will like parry and what um what that does is if you swing up at a player and they do that just in time it will make them all dizzy so on swings you can either predict or as soon as you see them swing you can like if you have a really good prediction like if you really have a good reaction time then you can do that but you mostly are predicting so say if there's someone's running up to you you're you're predicting that they will run up to you and swing so let's say someone's running up to me right now and I parry then they'll get they they might swing and then I can also um, hit them and kick them down by pressing Q and Q also allows you to stomp there's also one more thing there's uh, climbing so you can if you jump and press space and then press space again so it's basically jump space and then space again to climb up things and you can do it like really cool things um, this is quite hard but you can also this is not the thing I'm showing you but um, it's over here I don't know if I'm gonna get it right there um, so if you this is another thing it's not that hard but you just go up here you wouldn't be able to do this without a uh, um, what's it called without if this wasn't the game this is actually just um, got into the game so yeah it's really cool you can either go up here like this um, or go like where I'm about to show you and you can actually roll or slide to help you like that so it's like um yeah and this is if you want to go over here this is quite tricky to do i don't know if, even know if i'm gonna do it oh yeah okay i didn't do it <laughs> but um there's actually you can actually get onto here too if you time it right flip okay wait <laughs> let me just uh, uh skip to when i actually do it yes okay i did a second try never mind let's go okay right yeah, I actually it's pretty hard to do that, but once you get good at it, you can easily like trick people, and like it's yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so instead of going to a pub server, I have my friend here that I'm going to show you, uh, like combat and stuff on. So let's say he pulls out his weapon, as I was showing you. 
as I'm coming, um, as I was showing you, um, in the pri um, private server by myself, um, I like, um, uh, slided and then came came back, and it's a good way to predict their swings. I mean, like bait their swings and stuff. In nod, yes. Right. So if I go to them and then go back, if they would have swing, okay. Right. So if I go to the, um uh, go to them like pr uh, pretending like I'm gonna swing at them and they try and swing, I I go back and then because the the weapon is on on a cooldown, like I said, I can just go and hit them. Uh, yeah, and then his leg falls off. Okay, um, so the next thing, so this time he's going to parry instead of swing. So let's say I'm going up to him again, and if they parry, yeah, it will be a certain amount of time until they can um swing or like uh basically parry again. So you have a free hit on them. And it's instead of like parrying them yourself. So let's say they parry, you parry them. So let me show you what parrying actually looks like. So three, two, one, swing. Okay, look. So that's what parrying looks like. So you bet they're basically all dizzy, and you can kick them over. So let me do that one more time. Go again. Three, two, one, go. Right. So I can kick them and then like um, swing at them and stuff. And it's usually an instant kill. If, but if it's not, they're like on one HP and then you just finish them off. So yeah, that's what parrying is. But it's a massive ri risk if you do parry because if they're good at the game and they bait you, then you're just stuck help helpless and they just have free hits on you. So so yeah, you have to be careful of that. And yeah, that's basically like um uh, f uh what I was trying to say in uh, earlier. And so basically, we're just going to be uh, fighting now. And I'm gonna show you like what an actual fight looks like, basically. Right, three, two, one, go. How? That that kind of hurt. <laughs> this is so fair. I have a four-shot weapon, and you have a. Okay, GG. So yeah, I hope this was helpful, and yeah, in what I was saying, in my opinion, heavy is better and uh, than light, but um, chainsaw is still pretty pretty decent. But um, I'm not gonna. Sh I'm, I'll quickly show chainsaw actually. So this is chainsaw. It's basically if you click it. I have a full video on this. is actually one of my most popular. It's my po most popular combat warriors video on my channel. So I literally. I don't really have to explain it because I literally done a full video on it. But um, yeah, that was basically. That's basically it because I was um, fighting with my friend and showing you like what actually combat is and. Um, yeah, so that's basically it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.